hey everybody and welcome to today's video in which we are going to tackle a rather simple yet alluring uh, theme and that is creating books and bookcases all right so i'm gonna jump right in and first of all we've all seen books majority of us if we've worked into visualizing we've had to model books and we've had to model whole bookcases and to say the least, if you don't have the models already modeled, they can be a bit of a drag to model or to make. So, first of all, let's just uh, take a look at a few images of books. Books are actually pretty straightforward. All you have to, uh, at a book is the outer case and you have the pages on the inside. So here's another one. So pretty much very self-explanatory. So, modeling something like this is, like I said, quite easy, and let's just do it. All right, so first of all, I'm going to try and get the cover. So, for the cover, I can go and do this in two ways. The first thing is if I want to do it with splines, in which case I can simply go from the top view and go into create shapes, just go and make a rectangle. So a simple rectangle like this, this will give us the outline uh, of the book. Now, we need to do some uh, changes here. So I'm going to right click, convert to an editable spline. And here we need a few more uh, vertices so we can move some stuff around. So first of all, I'm going to delete the bottom one because we, like we said, we are uh, making the cover first. So here I'm going to click on refine while I have my the vertex selected. So refine, put one at the edge over here and one at the middle. Don't worry about this uh, other side because we're going to mirror this. So we'll get the uh, idea. So what we're trying to do is more or less get a shape like this. So if you want to have this rounded off like, uh, like in this case, or we can even make it straight like in this uh, book over here. doesn't matter. So for this, I want to get that little indentation over here we have here which is usually created when the book uh, is being opened and closed so for that i'm just going to add in one more little vertex over here put it inwards like that this one i'm going to pull it outwards convert this to an bezier corner move in and move this upwards like that so with this we have the base here i want this to be uh, transferred to the other side so a simple symmetry well actually this is uh, just a spline for now so i'm gonna leave it like this what we want to do now is we want to give it some uh, form so for this i'm gonna drop an edible poly on top of it or I can just go ahead and extrude this upwards. So give it some uh, height. Uh, as it is right now, I, I won't really matter. Uh, it doesn't matter what the amount is over here because this is not made by scale. We're just eyeballing this. So like I said, now we have the extrusion, which, gave, uh, which gives us a 3D object to work with opposed to having a 2D object which is a spline. Now I can put in a symmetry and we can flip this and there we go. We just got that shape that we had on our book over here. All right, so once we have this, now we need to gi uh, give our book a little bit more um, detail or actually a little bit more thickness. But in to be honest, I really don't wanna have this much detail over here so for now i'm going to jump down to edible spline in my interpolation i'm going to lower the interpolation steps down to like maybe one so with the extrude yep now we get a lot less happening over here so i'm going to hit the symmetry so again we have it on both sides i'm going to put a edit poly and just clear up a few of these edges that are not needed that one there can uh, do so i'm gonna right click and 
remove these or I can just control backspace whatever works for you guys so I want to see how this thing will look with turbo smooth it's smoothing but I'm guessing there's a little bit of a problem with the symmetry over here or a remnant of some sort yep there we go we have uh, this vertex left and the ones on the bottom so the ones that I just deleted I'm gonna hold down control and backspace that way everything is gonna be removed there will be no remnants like that one left around all right let's continue I think there was another one here no nope. all right so control backspace again turbo smooth and now we get a nice folding book we want to do uh, we do want to have a bit of uh, thickness so for this before I add a turbo smooth I'm just gonna make a shell modifier give it some thickness like I said this is not made by scale so everything I input here is really not that important on top of this shell now if I just put a turbo smooth it's gonna break everything because we have no supporting edges so before we put the turbo smooth I'm gonna put yet another edit poly and just ring in all of these uh, edges with support loops now the way to do the support loops I'm gonna go down in the modeling ribbon and from here I'm gonna choose the swift loop now I'm gonna use this video as a pointer when everybody asks me how I add in uh, all of those uh, quick lines it's this tool over here swift loop so all you have to do is drop down here and click on this I would really advise you if you're uh, serious about modeling keep buying this thing so you can just click here I'm gonna close it now again hit my key bind and add in the loops wherever I need them hopefully this will help a lot of people that have been asking me how I keep adding loops and another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in just one more loop in the middle over here just so when it starts smoothing it's some better smooth all right and there we go now we have enough of geometry to hold the cover for this book all right here's the thing though geometry wise our book is fine but what makes a book is it actually has a front page or it has an illustration on it so in order to get that we need to unwrap this now this is where most people get uh, scrambled up and well they don't understand how it works unwrapping a book is quite simple now you don't have to unwrap the fully turbo smoothed version that has a lot of uh, vertices oh so I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna hit down to edit poly as you can see this is adding more geometry so I'm not gonna change anything I'm not I'm gonna go even lower than the shell so I'm not even gonna take the shell into account so I'm gonna drop down to edit poly over here now this is the beauty of working with max and its modifier list you can drop down in modifiers then add in an unwrap UVW to it and now I can select all of these polygons and hit my belt map button this is gonna give me a quick belt there we go I'm gonna make it like this and I'm gonna hit back custom so what this is gonna do it's gonna put it into the 0 to 1 UV space so I've actually done the unwrap now and once I put in the shell modifier on top of this and then go up to the edit and the turbo smooth I have my book again like it was uh, previously but this time around though I have it unwrapped so let's see what does this mean for me well what this means for me is that I can go ahead and go to the internet or if you if you have a book cover uh, ready to use you can use it on your but for me I'm just gonna go book cover hit the image 
and from here you can find a plethora of different books that you can use for your projects. Uh, for me personally, I've actually just chosen a, a few images. It's uh, basically images from here, so we don't have to download them now. So for this, I'm simply going to open my material editor, add in one uh, material, and in the diffuse, I'm just going to uh, drop one uh, bitmap, which is basically this image over here. And I'm going to hit the show shaded material in the viewport. Now, right away, you see that I got something happening here but it's a far fetch from uh, the book looking like this. Now, I probably should have made this book a tiny bit smaller, but that really doesn't matter because we can uh, make the changes inside the Unwrap UVW. So I'm going to click on my Unwrap UVW over here and click on the Open UV Editor. So you're going to see again the same thing that we just uh, previously did over here. So what we want to do now is we want to put this where our texture is. And the way to do it, the, quick, the quickest way would be to click over here and go pick texture. From there, click on bitmap, find the page that you used in your texture. So for me, it's this one and click OK or open. What you're going to see is right away, this is going to show up. Now you have the texture in the background and you have all of this here. So this is basically your unwrapped book. So we want to stretch this. So I'm going to select all of my top vertices over here. I'm going to move them upwards. Hold down shift to move straight up till about here. Now over here, I'm going to check the sides. Actually, here it's fine. This whole book is a tiny bit uh, stretched because basically our geometry is too big. But I'm going to leave it on like this because that's not actually a problem for now. So when I go up to Turbo Smooth, you're going to notice that now we have the whole geometry following this book. Now we have everything unwrapped and everything is fine. So now that we have the book, uh, the book cover, let's add in the pages. I'm going to close this. For the pages, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is go to the Create panel, hit the box, put in one box till about here. Don't go over to the edge. Just make sure it's till about somewhere around here. You need to give it some uh, height. Again, don't go overboard. You want to have it inside like that. And I can probably get this a tiny bit more to the um, inner side, just so it's more in uh, turn with what you can see over here. Or maybe even the other book, like here, to the edge. So for this, I'm going to hit, or I'm going to add an edit poly move the vertices up till about here, scale it inwards tiny bit like that. And now with the quick loop, I'm going to add in just a few edges here. So it's not protruding outwards. And with this, I have the inner of uh, inners or the inner side of my book. So for this, oops, okay, I can put one more in the middle, just so we get that little nice indentation at the end here. Now, let's just put in the supporting edges here, just so uh, when once we start with the turbo smooth, we don't lose the sharpness of the edges. All right, that's fine. We just need to add in one more here, and I think this should be fine. Let's try it out. Awesome. We have a nice inside part for our book. Now, for the texture, 
uh, creating something uh, for or creating a texture for uh, insides of the books is quite easy to do with Photoshop. So open up Photoshop in here, create a new uh, document. I'm going to make mine uh, 1024 by 1024. And for this, we can go to filter. Now go to go to noise, add noise. And from here, you can uh, add a Gaussian uh, amount here, just make sure you have a nice amount. And also make sure you tick on monochromatic. If you don't, you're going to get this uh, colorful noise, we don't want that we just want it to be black and white. So monochromatic Gaussian, put in the amount to something that you like, click OK. And now from here, we want to have lines for our pages. So for this, we're going to go again to filter, go to blur, and hit, hit it with the motion blur. Now when you hit it with the motion blur, by default, I think this is uh, put down to like a small amount here, which can give you an interesting uh, look, it kind of looks like the pages are crumbled, but the edges are rather sharp. So you can use this, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, you can use something like this. But for a more uh, uniform uh, result, just crank this up to a higher like amount, maybe even up to the 2000 or the, the final uh, or the biggest result and click OK. With this, you have a nice black and white distinction. So from here, I'm going to click on Save As. And I can save it up as uh, JPEG or whatever. I can call it pages textures or pages texture. Click OK. This is how you make your own. Or you can either go to Google and search for texture over there as well. So I'm going to close this and back to Max. All right. So for here, I'm going to put this uh, material on it. And now just drag drag in the page texture to the diffuse. And click on show shaded material in viewport and apply it. Now the thing is, once you apply it, by default, you might not have uh, unwrap on your uh, on your pages. So let's just say you don't have or you did something and it's like this, it's gray. So what you need to do is quickly, you don't have to unwrap this, you can hit it with a UVW map like this, make it a box. And here, you can scroll it outwards like this, change the x, y or z until you get something like this. And now if you take a look, let me just put it here. And there we go. Once you put it like this, you basically have a book that has nice looking pages. Now you can if you want to have if you're going to have your renders be up close to the uh, pages, you can simply scroll down to the maps section and pull in the pages texture into the bump slot. That is going to allow you to have bump for your pages. And that way, we have our book made. Now once our book is finished, the great thing about using this type of uh, stacking of the modifier slots is that once you're finished with your book, all you have to do to get different versions is select it, hold down shift and copy, make a copy next to it. Now all I have to do here is simply scale it inwards make it a thicker or smaller one, scale it inward like this. And you get a smaller version like uh, like this one. If you're gonna, uh, although if you're gonna be scaling it like this, you might uh, run into some problems later on, when you want to add more textures to it. So you can either do it like this, or you can select the book shift and drag like this. And then with the selection here in the edit poly, you can select the very low poly version and move it inwards like that. 
So make sure you select all of those vertices. Scale it inwards like that. Again, put it inwards, make it a shorter book. And do the same thing for the book here. So you move it inwards. There you go. It's a bit of a tedious work, but hey, it's nothing too uh, hard or something that would take too much time. And the great thing is, once you do this, you go back to UVW. You have three different books, and now all you have to do in order to change the book or given some variant is uh, select the first uh, texture that you use for the book, copy it downwards, call this uh, material, doesn't matter, whatever, add it to the book, the outside of the book, and just change the page here or change the texture and right away you get the new texture now in case this uh, book is let's say smaller or uh, thinner than the other one again you can go back to the unwrap UVW hit the UV uh, open UV editor and here you can move around and scale or position the vertices just so your book is back to being up to correct uh, texture space. So that would be it for creating uh, simple books like this. And I hope you had you guys had some fun. You managed to learn something new. If you do have any questions, leave them below. I will meet you in the comment section of the video. If you did enjoy the video, click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video where, we'll con where we will continue more about books. Bye-bye.